Yo, what up guys? It's Izzy Oak here, bringing you guys yet another Warframe video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build an EV Trinity, or at least how I go about building an EV Trinity. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into the build real quick. It's a two forma build with corrosive projection, power drift, vitality, transient fortitude, bland rage, um, vampire leech, prime bigor. Fleeting expertise, stretch, and overextended. Now, you can already see that this this build does not have any sort of duration whatsoever. It only has 12% duration, and that's because the premise of this build is to be able to spam EV as much as possible with the most amount of strength as possible as well, and of course a lot of fucking range now you could always have a bit more range if you just switch power drift for i don't know cunning drift i believe it is yeah cunning drift you can go ahead and switch power drift for cunning drift and it'll give you a bit a little bit more power range i know it's not that much but a lot of people like that little bit a little bit too much so it's still an option and of course if you don't go for corrosive projection and you like keeping your re uh, redirection I mean not redirection I think it's a uh, rejuvenation my bad rejuvenation you can go ahead and keep rejuvenation and that just means you you have um, only one format to spend on this thing which is just giving it another moderate um, polarity for I believe blind rage yeah or transfer fortitude with it whichever of the two of course another thing is that you don't have to use vitality you don't have to use prime bigor and you can go ahead and switch vitality for quick thinking and um bigor for uh prime flow uh and you'll be able to keep yourself alive for pretty much forever unless you don't you know ev but anyways this build as you can see i don't have prime flow neither do i have um regular flow it's because i really don't need it this build really does not need any sort of uh added energy because you're already giving yourself so much energy and i'm gonna sh go ahead and um i'm gonna demonstrate you guys to you guys um how much energy you actually gain from the uh the energy vampire and of course you have pro uh, vampire leech which also uh, forgot to mention it gives you more sh over shields if you don't know what over shields are it's pretty much what the word says it gives you shields over your shields um, you'll be able to see it in a moment I'm just gonna go ahead and give my trin a prime flow and I'm gonna go ahead and unleash an enemy right now so I can vampire the hell out of it as you can see per spam I get 200 energy that's a lot in just three spams I was able to just max out my e my Trinity's energy which is 637 um, and that's a that's a lot because it's just a second pretty much in just two or three seconds I was able to max out a energy pool of 637 and I could have done it uh, with a higher energy pool um, like Loki's energy pool that can just reach to um, I believe 770 energy um, in his energy pool I mean but yeah that's the build uh, as you can see it gives you a lot of energy and you really don't need the uh, efficiency at all in, in this build and uh, yeah that's pretty much the build right there. Uh, my preference for Vitality and Prime Bigor are just the fact that I don't like Slash procs and, and, that, and that sort of stuff. But you don't really need it. Um, it's your own play style. If you like playing with Quick Thinking or like playing with Vitality, it's all up to you. I don't think I need it because I do get a lot of energy already by being able to just EV and um i also have blessing and stuff but anyways that's gonna be it for today's video i already showed you guys how my ev trinity works and yeah hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments what would you do to uh, you know change <clears throat> the um the build yourself what would you do to make it better um what didn't you like about the build let me know in the comments below 
and yeah until next time guys